Hello, welcome to Scrap Time. My name is Christine, and in this video, I'm showing you some stamps from Spellbinders designed by Tammy Tuttero. Spellbinders has ventured into stamp making, and as part of their designer series, this one here is by Tammy Tuttero. And I like this series of stamps because it goes right along with the coloring theme. So I have these two here, and I made these two cards and so they're nice bright and vibrant and fun to color and I'm going to show you how you can um, make these cards using the stamps so I've already stamped it onto the um, Ranger Tim Holtz Distress Watercolor cardstock and the great thing about this cardstock is one side is smooth which I've used here and the other side is bumpy, so it's hot and cold press on in the one paper. So when I stamp, I like to do it on the smooth side so I get a better image with my stamp. And I am using watercolor pencils. These are the Derwent Inktense pencils um, today, and I decided to use Violet, Fuchsia, and Dark Aquamarine. I'm going to start with Happy. and. If you can see in this card here, I did sort of an ombre effect. I'm going to do that first. So I'm going to do the bottom and I'm doing the purple on the bottom because it's sort of my darkest color. And I'm just coloring a bit over a third. I'm going to overlap the colors a bit. Now here with the A, I'm going to go up and over because I don't want that part of the A to be purple. The little swirl. Here I'm going above the swirl as well. Though. Then I'm going to move into blue. Finally, the fuchsia. I will finish off the letter. And the more pigment you put down, um, the more intense your color will be. But you don't want to put down too hard, like press too hard, or else it won't blend out nicely. And these pencils also work best on a watercolor paper. If you do this um, on a regular paper, they may not blend out as nice. And if you don't color in the area too, then you're not putting a lot of pigment down and it may not blend. So you want to color the whole thing in. Unless you want to blend it into a very faint color, that would be a different technique. And then I'm going to use this fuchsia for the swirl. So then when it comes to these letters, I'm going to start again sort of with the ombre. And so up here, I'm going to do the fuchsia color. You want to make sure your pencils are fairly sharp so you can get in these fine. It's not very big spots you're coloring. especially 
see in here it's very tiny and then I'm going to do blue for to brighten purple right at the bottom and this is very fine purple to give it a bit more okay so now what I'm doing is I am using a water brush this one is from Ranger and it has a fairly thin um, point I'm just going to make sure there's water on it actually I have one that's thinner I'm going to use this one I have, this is a Kurataki one and it has a thinner point to it so I'm going to use that one and I'm starting with the pink and just going over that area and you can see just by that how it activates and looks completely different now Now I'm going to just, if I have too much water, her color. Now there's a little bit there that went off, but that's okay because we're going to actually be adding some splatters later. So if you get a little bit of splatter or if it seeps off a bit, it's fine because these are such tiny little areas here. It's hard to keep it within the zone. And then I'm going to do the pink, just the pink at this point, because I don't want to bring that blue into the pink. So now I'm going to do the blue but only the blue I'm not going to do oh I have to go back to do that pink there but I'll go back after anyway I'm only doing the blue I don't want to bring the purple in yet I want that blue to stand on its own You can bring the blue a little into the pink though so it blends but I need to do the blue words down here so I like to use the pencils for this because it's such a detailed project if you were to go straight with watercolors you might not get the same intensity of color in such a small little space and I'm going to wipe that off I'm going to do the swirl and now I will do the purple And I'm bringing that purple into the blue.
And there we have our card colored. But we're not done yet. We need a background for the card. So I have this 5 by 7 paper that I'm going to put it on. So what I'm going to do is take my pencil crayons and color randomly I don't have to do the whole card because um, I know that this is just sitting on it. I can overlap the color a bit. You don't want it to be stop, start, stop, start. So of course when you're picking colors, you want colors that will blend together nicely. So blue, pink, and purple all work well together. So this time I'm using water with a big brush. Again though I'm going to start with the pink. Because I want that pink not to completely get lost in the other colors. And then I'm going to bring this over and I'm going to splatter some of that color onto it. On this side, now I'm going to work on the blue. And I'm using a lot of water here just to do this background and then splatter some of that excess on here. And then finally the purple. watery more. That's okay. Okay, so now all I need to get my heat tool and just dry off this water. what I like to do is wait a bit before I actually glue it down because even if it seems dry sometimes the paper is still moving and shifting so I'm just going to wait until it's completely dry and then I can glue it down and it won't sort of fold over on me or that but you can see how that background really works well with um, the stamped image so here we have it in the green colors and then here is the other stamp design in some pinks and yellows. So you can use any colors you want. They're really fun to play around with. And that is some of the Tammy Tedero stamps for Spellbinders and there are other designs. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like our video, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to our YouTube channel Scrap Time Videos. See you next time. Bye bye!